elegant, clean, silent. There's no doubt that electric vehicles will become the mainstream of transportation in the future. And what makes them so unique is what drives them, the electricity. The power of electric vehicles comes from their batteries, which require DC power. But electricity grids usually provide AC power. So we need chargers to convert AC power to DC power to feed all those electric vehicles. There are mainly two kinds of EV chargers, DC chargers and AC chargers. What's the difference? A DC charger is able to convert AC power from the grid into DC power and supply it to the batteries directly, so it's usually used in fast or rapid charging. An AC charger provides AC power, which is then converted into DC power by the onboard charger inside the electric vehicle before it reaches the battery. It's usually used in slow charging. But why do we need two different kinds of EV chargers? That's because they're suited for different scenarios. DC chargers have higher requirements for power, so the installation cost tends to be higher. We can deploy energy storage systems and power conditioning systems with them to reduce their impact on the grid. DC chargers are indispensable during long distance drives or for flexible scheduling of commercial fleets. By contrast, AC chargers can be easily deployed in AC power venues, such as homes, office buildings, malls, and communities. You can simply charge your car at home at night and continue to charge it in the office during daytime for daily commutes. Different elements of the electric vehicle's charging process, such as charger locations, charging schedules, and more, can be monitored and managed through internet devices. Truly convenient! Do you think electric vehicles can only receive power? Nope, they can also provide power through V2G, V2H EV chargers. V2G, V2H is a charger with vehicle-to-grid and vehicle-to-home bi-directional power transmission capabilities. In addition to charging, it's also able to convert the DC power stored in the car battery into AC power, thus making an electric vehicle an energy storage device, able to provide emergency backup power during disasters or power outages. In normal conditions, it's able to charge the electric vehicle during off-peak times when the supply is abundant and the electricity price is lower. It can then transmit the power stored in the car to home appliances or even back to the grid during peak times. If we have enough electric vehicles available, the electricity is even equivalent to a virtual power plant. With all these innovative applications, electric vehicles can serve beyond transportation to become a critical power provider for smart cities. <laughs>